So you just started your own YouTube gaming channel, you got a brand new computer which is able to stream and you want to stream your game consoles and record some footage. However, you're confined for space so you can only use one monitor. Now there's a lot of capture cards on the market there, but a lot of them you cannot play on the monitor that you are using, you have to hook up an external screen to it. So what I'm going to show you today is the Elgato HD60S. This is an excellent capture card, I use it for all my capturing and streaming. So I'm going to go over the features of it, show you why this is the best capture card to have if you only have one monitor. So we're going to look over the features, show you a little bit of a uh, gameplay to use, show you the software it comes with, and uh, let's check it out. So right now I'm just going to show you what my uh, PC setup is like right now. As you can see I don't have room for two monitors, so I just have the one right here. It's so my keyboard right there and the PC is right in the corner. So right now I have it hooked up to my PlayStation 4 and you can see the Spider-Man background back there. So the Elgato card is right there on the floor and the PlayStation is hooked right into it. Now the beauty about this is that there's no input lag whatsoever. So as you can see when I move the control stick there's literally no lag. And this is a perfect gaming setup if you only have one monitor and you want to record and stream. Right now I have it showing the Elgato uh, recording and streaming software, however you can use this in OBS, and that is actually my preferred way to stream and record video off the Elgato HD60S. Up next I'm going to show you the capture card in action in the Elgato software, then I'm going to show it to you in OBS and what I use for my streaming. First we're going to go over the Elgato streaming software and capturing software. So this is the interface right here. To me it looks very simple, I'm going to go through each of the options here that you have. So on the bottom here you have the stream command. So basically Basically you can put some overlays over similar to OBS so you can see see I'm right here ah. uh, <laughs> you can do one like that there's lots of presets so then on the bottom here we have the record button so pretty self-explanatory when you record it's going to do this so right now it's recording and then so then it shows oh, let's hit that again so it's recording and then it'll show you how long your recording is going for and also how much uh, space you have left on your hard drive which you're saving it to so we'll stop that and and then commentary is where you turn you would turn on your mic so if you want to do commentary during like a game capture you can do that as well and then the uh, stream button pretty self-explanatory streaming to youtube or twitch you can just click that and you're instantly live on twitch or youtube then right here we have the option for the capture card so what this capture card can do there's different input devices you can select so you they have ones ranging from the Wii U all the way to the PlayStation 4. So you got Xbox One, 360, PS4, you can do PC, your iPad, iPhone, Wii U, Nintendo Switch. And here's where you can adjust the quality. Now, you can do it in 720p in standard definition or allow it for a mobile screen. Now what's special about the HD60S is that it records in 1080p at 60 frames per, sec per second, so you're going to get a very good quality uh, recording. So you can also crop it a bit here, you can do an overscan, so allow 60 FPS for video preview. So that means for this part here, the video preview part, so this is the video preview, so you can actually play it off of, if you see, see I'm playing it off right there. Then the picture options, so you can obviously adjust the brightness, so you can make it a lot brighter, make it dimmer, let me just go back to default. Yeah, contrast, saturation and hue, audio. So you can adjust the, you can bump the audio a little bit as well. Then you can um, make different profiles for yourself. I just like using the uh, default one. I think it's the, uh, it works fine for me. So I'm not going to tinker with any of that. Then also with this uh, little client, you can also do live streaming. So right now it's connected to my YouTube channel and my Twitch channel. Also, basically you put your title here and then um, the description here, and then it, it goes straight to YouTube or Twitch, wherever you stream. And then game audio. So if you raise it up here, that changes the game audio on the recording and then microphone so microphone you can attach to it if you want to record commentary when you're playing and for the live streaming and also the HD60S does have a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack where you can connect a uh, microphone to it if you want to just talk directly through there and then on this side here is the edit side when you record a video it's going to save all of your things here so going back to the capture part here you put the video title in the game and the description so the video title is going to show up on your save file and the game is going to organize it into a folder so it would be very easy to find out which game that you were recording on and you want to pull that footage and maybe make a new video with it or whatever you want to do with it so here is the obs software running the elgato hd60s right now i have call of duty black ops 4 running in there so this is what i use for my streaming so 
with the Elgato software, I felt like it was kind of complicated to um, put my overlays and everything on here. I know a lot of people use OBS to stream, so I thought this would probably be a better option. Now, when I live stream, this is my screen. So I don't see anything else. I just see this, this screen. I don't have an external monitor that I attach my uh, PlayStation to. I use just one screen. So whenever a comment comes on the left side here, I see it immediately. And as you can see, the Elgato is streaming it directly, is capturing it directly. And so when I stream, I just display it like this. And I've called it Black Ops 4 running. And so this is just what I see. So I see the exact same things as you guys see when you come into my streams and just just goes to show how the HD 60s is a great capture card I don't need two monitors I just need one and if I ever need to like mute my mic for whatever reason I just go down here and exit it's a very simple click and no input lag whatsoever here so you see not, everything's moving fine no input lag and I just think this is the excellent and excellent excellent capture card that you sh definitely should pick up if you only have one monitor set up there are a lot of other capture cards out there. Elgato makes a whole bunch too, but some of them you need to use a second monitor to see your gameplay so it's not delayed. So this was my little review of this Elgato HD60 product. Um, if you really like what you saw, please consider subscribing and checking out my other videos. Leave a like, drop a comment. If you want to get this for yourself, I'll leave links in the description below. So this is Super Andrew 64 signing off. Have yourselves a one-up day.